tell me your app without telling me. Short interest from 24.6% to almost 27%. With so much going on at the moment for AMC, such as things like the credit cards, the perfectly popcorn, the huge spike in cost to borrow, the records that have been being broken over the past few weeks with food and beverage, and of course the movies that are coming out in April that are absolutely crushing it. On top of that, I have many more things to say, but we'll leave that for another video. We may forget that today was the day that Finner reports. The short interest for every stock, guess what, AMC is up big time. So this is on Fintel, it says shares short. 138.8 million and short interest percentage of free float according to the most recent 26.89 percent now this also comes at a time where amc is being added to the hard to borrow and or unborrowable something big is brewing this is an awesome point that i don't think enough apes talk about so the amc stubs a list cost 25 dollars a month so in three months this ape says i paid 75 bucks and in these three months this ape says i watched 12 movies Without a list, at an average price of $21 or so per ticket, 12 movies would have cost me $250. So for $75, this ape watched 12 movies, skipped the long concession line, and got discounted food and drinks. The Stubbs A list is not only great for patrons and for apes, but also for the company, the recurring revenue aspect, and the potential for massive, massive numbers makes Stubbs A list something that I think more apes and AMC need to share around more. This post says AMC will change this. Former Citadel engineer on trading. And they said, the game is not fair or has never been. Individual investors, even when operating in a swarm, are destined to lose. And how do I know I helped design the game? 